Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start the third unit of a cloud computing, guys. Okay, so the first topic in this unit is nothing but the multi-tenancy and single tenancy. So basically, first let us go through multi-tenancy, then we will move on to single tenancy, then we will discuss the advantages, disadvantages of both of them. Okay, clear, right? So what we are going to discuss in this lecture? Okay, so let us start. So basically, what is a multi-tenant software? Okay, so basically, if you are a user and you are having multiple users like that, so here we are having three users. So basically, when they request for something, the load balancer will divide it into multiple uh, among multiple applications. So one application will be selected. So basically, here we are having a single cluster with multiple applications and one common database, right? So observe it carefully, the flow. So the user will request. So the request will pass through the load balancer from the load balancer. It will be moving on to this layer where the cluster of applications are there. So from applications, it will be moving on to the database and the request will be done and they will be tracking back. So this flow, right? Yes. So the main thing that you should understand here is they are having a single cluster of applications and only a single common database. Remember. Why I'm saying you is because when you compare this with single tenant, you will understand. So multi tenants is a software architecture where single software instance can serve multiple distinct user groups. So single software instance is uh, serving multiple users. So that concept is nothing but the multi tenant software. Whereas a single tenant software is each and every user will have his own application and his own database. So this concept is nothing but single tenant application. Got it? Yes. So a single instance of software and supporting infrastructure serves a single customer. So one to one indirectly. Okay. With single, okay, with single tenant, each customer has his or her own independent database and instances of software, not sharing anything. Got it? Yes. So this is the concept of a multi-tenant and single tenant guys. Okay, so now let us go through some advantages. So the advantage of multi-tenant is, so using a single software, you can serve multiple users, means it is cost efficient, it is a fast, easy to deploy, it is highly scalable. So assume that a thousand customers will come on the next day, you'll be just pushing them into the same application, right? So it's simple, right? Yes. So it is optimal and reliable, okay? But it is also having some disadvantages like compliance and regulations of a storage data and privacy so basically whenever you are having a common database so if some user understands the logic how to get data so he can directly use some coding tricks and he can get some other's data right yes so those kind of privacy issues will be there and less control okay okay so now let us continue and the next is nothing but the advantages of a single tenant so the signal tenant will be having the easier restoration and Backup. So basically backupping and restoring will be really easy and it's also a reliable. Okay. And the disadvantages with single tenant is it is more expensive guys because if you are having thousand users, you need to have thousand applications, right? Yes. And less efficient. So if some modification is done in one application, all the applications should be updated. Got it? Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about the single tenant and multi tenant. In the next lecture, let us learn about the relational databases, which is again used in data in databases in a cloud guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching